Cum Lion Hearts. Have you coloured in your fourth candle? I have. The one to show us the joy of Jesus Christ. And have you noticed it only leaves one more that we're going to colour in the flame? I wonder if you can think which day that will be. I wonder how many of you can read this word here. I think some of you might just be able to have a little guess. There's a clue here and a clue here. Yes, it reads Christmas. Now let's look at this one. Can you see I've coloured part of the word in red? What does that word say? Again, there's a little clue down in the corner here. That's right, it says Christ. Jesus Christ, the baby Jesus who was born in the stable. So what I want us to try and remember that we're going to have a lovely Christmas, but without the Christ in Christmas, we wouldn't be having it at all. For a long, long time, people had read God's promises that one day he would send his own son from heaven to rule the earth and bring hope and peace. People waited and prayed. In the village of Nazareth lived a young woman called Mary. She was soon to be married to Joseph. As she swept and baked, washed and mended, she sang thank you songs to God. She had no idea that God had been looking everywhere for a heart as beautiful as hers. He had chosen her for a special task. One night, heaven hushed its singing and the angel Gabriel visited earth once more to bring God's most important message to Mary. You are very special and God is with you, whispered Gabriel. He will surprise you with a son and you will call him Jesus. His kingdom will rule for ever and ever. The Spirit of God will rest on you so that your baby will be called the perfect Son of God. Mary listened, then replied in a quiet voice. Let everything you have said happen to me. An angel visited Joseph in his dreams and told him that Mary had been chosen as part of God's wonderful plan to be the mother of the Saviour of the world, and his name was to be called Jesus. Joseph gladly married Mary. Now many months had passed, and the baby was soon to be born. Joseph explained to Mary that the Roman rulers had ordered everyone to travel to their family town to sign their names in a big book. Even though I know your baby will be born soon, he said, you will have to come with me because God wants me to look after you. Mary sighed. It was a long way to Bethlehem. They packed their clothes strips of cloth for the baby and plenty of food and water, and set off. It took more than three days to get to Bethlehem, and Mary rode on the back of a donkey. It was a bumpy ride, and Mary felt tired and very uncomfortable. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, it was bustling with visitors. So leaving Mary safely under the shade of a palm tree, Joseph set off through the crowds to find somewhere to stay. By the time Joseph returned, Mary was exhausted. Joseph held her gently and told her about the kind innkeeper who had taken pity on them and offered his stable. At that moment it seemed just perfect. As they settled themselves, the bull in the corner huffed 
sniffed and snorted, tossing his tail this way and that. Little mice scurried and squeaked in and out of an upturned basket. With Mary comfortable and the donkey fed and watered, Joseph looked around their tatty stable home. Could their baby king really be born in such a poor, smelly place? When Jesus was born, Mary was overjoyed. She scooped him up in her arms and marvelled at God's amazing miracle. Wrapping him carefully in strips of cloth, she laid him in a manger to sleep. Now, on the hillside outside Bethlehem, a group of shepherds sat around a fire, keeping themselves warm. As the shepherds chatted and laughed, a strange light grew above them. Soon, it was shining all around. When the shepherds saw a mighty angel, they were absolutely terrified. Don't be afraid, the angel told them. I have great news to tell you. A king has been born. He is called Jesus. This is what you should look for. A baby wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. The sky seemed to explode as a host of angels began singing, Glory to God in the highest! Peace on earth to men and women! As the light began to fade and the singing became no more than a whisper, the shepherds helped each other to their feet and began to stumble, then walk, then run towards the village. They found the stable where Jesus lay, and as they walked through the door, they felt overwhelmed. There was Jesus, their king. They fell to their knees and worshipped him. Jesus would give them a new start. He had turned their darkness into light. It was still night when the shepherds left the stable, but they did not leave quietly. As they sang and shouted out, Bethlehem woke. Leaning out of their windows and standing in doorways, people heard the good news about Jesus and shared the shepherd's joy. And now I want you to show you the Christmas craft that we're going to do. Baby Jesus in the manger with the star overhead. The thing we're going to use to start with is a big plain white paper plate. You don't want any patterning on it at all. And then you can get somebody to print out this page. You've got baby Jesus there, which you can colour in. And a star, you can either colour it in or cut it out from yellow card. And all the instructions are here to follow. I hope you enjoy it.